Robert. Thomas, you right? good to see you, mate. Yeah, you right? Some nice zones out here, isn't there? Mate, this, the middle of there has always been a good area. There he is, the first one. A lovely, pretty St John's mirror. Yeah, well, I've got that margin. That could be, this, that could be a save. If you like, say, I've got the zigs, you've got the margin. It's a complete flip to how we started. Well done, mate. Yes. Good lad, good lad. Well, how about that then? It might have taken a little over 24 hours since I first got the rods out. I managed to get the rod back out there bang on, had a walk around, put some more bait in, and the fish, believe it or not, are still under the same tree. So I'm hoping that this isn't going to be the only bite that I get under that tree. first time I put a rod on this shorter spot. It took me, it actually took me only one chuck to get it where I wanted it to go, but the paranoia side of me meant that I recast it about five times until I got it exactly where I wanted it to go. But this time around, I'd had that fish and I chucked it back out and it literally went plumb bang on under the tree. And uh, gone around and baited up and it had literally gone within 10, 15 minutes. And I know the fish is still out there, this one's kicking right off, it's making headway out into the middle of the lake. But uh, yeah, another bite, how your day can turn around. That, that bite was so fast, if the GoPro was on, that would have literally been the quickest bite ever. It like knocked before, like it done one bleep up. If you're fishing with Braden, that you feel everything, didn't you? One's having a little wallow in. I'll get Rob in a minute with a net. It's looking like this one is going to wallow all the way in. Is it a common or is it a scaly one? I'm not too sure. Either way, we want to get him in the net. Showing us how it's done now, boy. Carving it up, good lads. Go. Mate, well, that's a nice it's fish, a, isn't it? Nice scaly one. Nice, yeah, I don't know if it's a scaly one or a common. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to play to land it. It's the thing when you're fishing to like snags and stuff, they do generally tend to attract maybe the smaller fish. But yeah. When it's fishing bad, mate, mate, I'll take anything. Bites a bite today, it's like a mill pond. No one, I think you're the only person catching that I'm aware of. So one rod on the right place. Yeah, that was, to be fair, I'm not just saying it, it was a good cast. I did see it going. It was a it, lucky was a... cast. It's one of the ones I sort of closed my eyes. Mate, if you clipped up, there's no such thing. Come mate, he's a lovely fish, isn't is he? Is that a fully or is that a common? I can't tell. I don't catch many scaly ones, you see, Rob. Yes, that's a fully. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit further, mate, and I'll scoop her up. One more. We didn't like that, did it? All the way in, it's just literally wallowed like a, like anything. And then there we go, it's kicking off now. Probably my fault, I probably should have had that in the net, but oh well. Nice to enjoy the fight. Mm. I heard the oh, bite from favorite. next door, was it pretty savage, wasn't it? Well, to be honest with you, I heard the bob in it, the, hit the blank of the rod before I heard the, the alarm go. Yeah. I say with braid. I can't work out if that's whether it is a common or a fully. I'm saying fully. It's got big scales, isn't it? It's a nice fish. Either way, we'll try and get him in. Mm. It's when the lead's off, they are easy to get in and along the surface. But the problem is, is you don't want to tow them in because obviously you're always pulling our heads up. Yeah. Literally, I went back round to bait up and had a little look under the tree, and there was a couple of fish still under still there. Still there. So I think that was the beauty. This time around, it only took me two chucks to get it under there. Yeah. It would have only taken me one, but... Mate, they're just going to back up further into the snag if we make a missed cast, aren't they? One more, mate, and we'll scoop the old Yay. girl up. That's a lovely fish, All right, mate. we'll do. I'm saying fully. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying a fully. Yeah, definitely, yeah. 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 Lovely fish, brother. Like, well done, mate. That's Sick. it. Lovely times.
there we go. And they say teamwork makes the dream work. I said it looked good for another one. And uh, Mate, your casting was absolutely on point. And when it's like this, difficult, getting it on the money is 99% is of it, isn't it? Yeah, I got it on the money the second time because the first time I was a little bit concerned that I was too close. You see, the second time was perfect. And uh, yeah, a bit of expert baiting over the top. And here we go. Fish number two going into the evening. What a brilliant end to the day. And what a fish as well. A proper old, long St. John's for this game. St John's is arguably the most famous lake on the Linear Complex. It's held some massive, massive fish in the past, some of the past greats of Linear, but there is still some very, very big fish in here now. This is the actual lake that I caught my biggest fish off the Linear Complex on, one known as the Box Common at over 47 pound, which is still swimming around in here, as well as probably six or eight other fish over 40 pound. But aside from them as well, you've got loads and loads of backup fish, numerous 30 pounders, and the one good thing with St John's is there is such an array of fish from plain fish to scaly fish to commons. And that is something as well that is quite rare. Certainly on the linear complex, a lot of the lakes are predominantly filled with mirrors. On here, it could rip off. And not only have you got a chance of catching a big mirror, but you've also got a chance of catching a really big common as well. Is a good little spot in it. Well, it's taken a little bit longer, um, probably about an hour or so, since I had the last bite. It's gone again under the tree. Definitely seems like drilling that hook bait as tight under the tree as I can. Seems to be the one now. There's no way on this planet that I'm actually physically baiting right on top of the hook bait. And the reason why I say that is, is because I can only really bait to the right hand side of the tree just because of where. Got a bit of story about that, it's got a bit of stuff on it. Um, yeah, because of the way that the uh, the way that the bank is around her, I can only really get bait sort of in front of it. So I am getting a couple of liners before I get a bite, but we've got another one on. It's coming in nice and close. I have got a bit of a disaster again here because I have got some of these muscles on the line, but hopefully got a common this time, so having a nice little array of fish. Here we go. Missed it like a professional. If Rob would have been, I'd have got that in, see? There we go. Another one. Well, oh, three fish. A mirror, a fully scaled, and now we've got a common. Lovely, lovely times. <laughs> That'll do. We like that, that's how we like it. Nice 20 pound common. Lovely. Well, bite number three carp number three and it just goes to show that you've only got to find one little area that the fish are willing to feed in and your session can completely turn around. And we've got about an hour to go before it gets dark and this is sort of cemented in place what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to leave one rod up on the margin because I've just got the rod back out, bang on, I'm going to put my other two rods out on my baited spot. Although I didn't catch anything off of it last night and it's very tempting to put some zigs out. I think to catch a big fish stick out fishing on the bottom is going to be the way but for now how your day can turn around three bites free fish lovely